Hi there, let's talk about moving files within Microsoft Teams. Maybe you made a team and some channels and then later on you changed your mind or some other people got involved and they said, let's rearrange things a bit. Maybe they added more teams, more channels, or they took away some, whatever the reason, just know that it's easy enough for you to move stuff around. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate um, this with a, a few different examples so you can see how easy it really is. So the example we're looking at to start with um, is I'm in the class team and I'm in the general channel. And then if I go to files, that's the screen that I'm on here. I'm going to take these two files at the bottom here and I'm going to move them into training. And so I'm going to click on training right now and then files. Just so you can see, there is one test file here plus a number of folders. And we'll talk about moving things into folders after this first demo. But let's go back to general and let's go back to those files and let's just take these two files here and move them right into training. So I'm going to do them one at a time because I want to have two different examples. And then I'll show you how to do a group at a time as well. So notice as I move my mouse over the files, I see the three dots and I also see something to select the file with. Uh, so it's these three dots that gives me my menu. I'm going to click on that. And then from the menu, I'm going to choose move. And so when I get into moving, what happens is it's now showing me the channel that I'm in. So I'm in the general channel and it's showing me the folders that are in that channel. So I don't want to move any my file into these folders. I want to actually get out of this channel. I want to get out of this team and I want to go to a different team. I want to go to the mission team and I want to go to the training channel. And I don't want to put it in a folder right now. I'll, I'll do an example of that after, but I just want to put it in this channel. So I'm going to hit move and then it takes a moment or two to move it. Yeah, so now you see that it's gone. And now if I go to training and I go to files, chart of assessment is showing up in there. Okay, so let's go back to general. Let's just do um, a little bit different example with the other file that's left there. So let's take this file and let's move it right into a folder in the training channel in the mission team. So I'm going to again hit that, those three dots and then choose move and then go out of this channel because I don't want to be in this channel, go out of this team and then go to the team that I want to go to and then go back to the channel that I want to go into, the training channel. And this time let's pick a folder. So let's say I want to put it into other references and then choose move. Okay. And then we'll go look at that file in that folder once it moves. So it may take a minute or two. All right. So you notice that within the general channel here of the class team, there's no loose files anymore. If I go to training and I go to files, you see that chart of assessment there. And then if I go to other references, you're seeing the 12 high impact showing there as well. So it it's works beautifully, right? So let's do uh, one other example here. Let's go um, to see, and even under the training channel, there's some files here that maybe, maybe we change our mind and we want these files to be in a folder. So, I mean, you can decide how many files are within your folders and your subfolders and how many files are just kind of sitting there as you open the channel and you have them available to you. Uh, we don't want to get in the habit of having too many files sitting there without some sort of organization to them. Um, so you might find yourself once in a while cleaning this stuff up. So I'm going to take this file here and hit the, the menu again and go to move. And this time I'm going to say agendas is where I'm going to move it to and move. So now it's no longer in the training channel loosely. It's actually in the agendas folder, right? So one more thing to talk about, and that's, I'm going to go back to the class channel. Whenever we add in, if we're having a conversation with somebody and then we attach a file with that, that paper clip down there, that file goes into files here, but it goes, it goes at the root, right? It goes right here without being put into a folder. There's no way for us to attach a file 
into the posts and tell it to go into a particular folder. So that's where that cleanup might happen. That's when you might find, oh, I have way too many files sitting in here, um, or maybe the team is complaining about it because they can't find stuff as easily. So you're gonna need to have somebody do a little bit of cleanup once in a while to move these files around. And that's kind of what I'm trying to show you here with the moving and how easy it is. So let's go back to training for a minute. I have one more example I wanna share with you. So I'm gonna go into other references. And let's say something in here is misfiled. It shouldn't even be in there. Maybe there's a couple things that are misfiled. Because I want to show you how to, how to move more than one thing at a time. So you saw how I got to the menu with the three dots. Now this time I'm just going to go to the little circle and I'm going to check mark that file. And let's check mark another file. And then we're going to choose move from our menu at the top. So we could obviously check mark more than two. I'm just showing you with this example. Now beware though, this does take time to move files. So I always test one file and move it around. And then if you want to test a couple and then move it um, before you, you try and move hundreds of files. And by all means, if you're in a big organization, you might want to uh, check in with your IT department or your IT specialist and talk to them about moving files before you start moving everything around and causing a little bit of chaos, right? Okay, so let's say I want to take these two files and I want to move them to uh, the resources channel and into program information. There's no files right now in this. So it kind of is telling me what files are already existing in that folder. So I'm gonna hit move. So I've taken two files, moved them into resources, under files, and then program information. Okay, so now you see how easy this is. Try it out for yourself. Try one file at a time first, then get a little bit braver with a few, um, and uh, you'll see how easy this works, and you won't have to worry about whether you have everything in the perfect place. You can know that you can change your mind later on. Now, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.